Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Abhinash and in this video, I'm going to explain how to install Kit in a Windows operating system and uh, in Linux operating system. So, so before installing, I would like to show one command. So I'm opening command ROM and here I'm giving Git space iPhone iPhone version command and it is saying it is not recognized as an internal or external command. So that means, so my local machine or this command prompt is not able to recognize command called git. Why? Because git is not installed on this machine. So now let's go to Google, look for git download. And uh, here you can see the website git scmcom slash downloads. So now we get to that page and whatever the operating system you are using select that type so if you are using mac just click here windows here and uh, so if you want to download 2.24.0 for windows operating system just click here so then immediately the installation is going to begin and uh, i've already have uh, that file so a minute back i just downloaded here is that file so now let me install this. So I'm going to click on this, just give yes, and continue with the installation part. So basically this uh, Git is free to use and it comes with general public license. Then click on next. So I'm going to install here. So if you previously installed Git in your local machine, so whenever you're trying to install it again, it tells you this folder is already existed. So would you like to install that folder anyway? Just give yes. And if you want to get an icon on your desktop, you can select that. And uh, so whenever you give right click, so here, if you want to get an options for uh, Git Bash here and Git GUI here, make sure you select this. I always recommend you to enable this option. Then click on next. So click on next again. So I'm going to use VIM editor and that is going to be my uh, uh, Git's default editor, click on next and uh, Git from command line and also from third party software. That is a recommended one. Click on next again and I'm going to use open SSH uh, for SSH uh, executions. Click on next. So use the open SSL library. Check out Windows style, commit Unix style, uh, line endings. Just click on next again. So use Minty. So just um, I'm just going the default options. So click on install. So now this Git is installing in our local machine. So once this installation is completed, I'll go back here and I'm going to run the same command and I'll I'll I'll, I'll look for that output. We'll see. So this is um, installing now. It won't take that much time. When coming to Linux part. So I'm going to launch an EC2 instance in Amazon Web Services. Then I'll install Git within that. So throughout this course, I'm going to use uh, Linux operating system instead of uh, my local machine. All right, so the installation is almost completed. So then click on finish and it just opened release notes that is okay. So now, it is installing this machine. Now, if you try to execute same command, again, it is showing the same error. The one thing you need to do is close this command prompt and uh, open new command prompt. Just give git space iPhone iPhone version, click on enter. There you can see it is showing git version 2.24.0.windows.1. So it is not giving any error. So it is able to recognize a git command. So that is installation process for Windows operating system. When coming to Linux operating system, so as I mentioned, I'm going to launch an EC2 instance called Amazon Linux AMI OS that comes into Fedora family. Click on select. So I'll be under free time limitation T2 micro. Click on next. I'm going with other default options, 8 gig storage, and I'm going to call this as a Git server. So then I'm going to uh, choose an existing security group or you can just go with the default options. Click on launch instance. All right, if you want to know more about or if you want to learn more about uh, Amazon Web Services, 
So I do have a YouTube channel. So please spend some time. Go there, youtube.com slash C slash Avinash Reddy T. So there you can go and you can you can learn more about Amazon Web Services. So I'm, I'll keep on updating with the, all the latest services here. Or you can just go to YouTube and you can look for AWS Avinash Reddy. So it is going to show you the same. So there you can learn how you can launch, uh, how you can create your AWS account, how you can launch, how you can get connected. You can you can just go through all those topics related to Amazon Web Services. All right, so here my server is up and running. So and I'm going to grab the public DNS and I'm going to use Putty to get connected to that machine. And I have browsed the key pair and uh, just give yes login as the default username is easy to iPhone user and I'm going to elevate my privileges to root. So now before installing Git, I'm trying to get Git space iPhone iPhone version and it is saying Git command not found. All right, so then the command is yum install Git iPhone Y or else if you want to perform an interactive installation, just give yum space install space Git, click on enter. There you can see, so this is what the Git and this is what the version is going to install and this was the installation size and uh, the, uh, the downloadable size over the internet. Just give Y and click on enter. All right, so Git installation is completed. Now I'm going to execute same command, Git space iPhone iPhone version. There you can see it is saying Git version is 2.17.2. So this is how exactly you can install Git for Amazon Linux AMI. And if you're using uh, any Debian family, so you can give sudo app to get, so then install git. Or else sometimes if like if you're using a virtual box Linux instance and all, if it is not able to detect, make sure you install EPEL iPhone release. So when you install this, EPEL iPhone release so you can then after you can run that uh, yum install git command and it is going to install so now the installation part is completed so we have a couple of mandatory settings for this git so if you want to verify all the configuration settings the command is git config iPhone iPhone list See, when I enter this command, git space config space iPhone iPhone list, it is not returning with any value. Now, I want to configure git username and email. These two are mandatory fields. For that, git space config iPhone iPhone global. So then, user.name and you can give your username. All right, so then uh, git config iPhone iPhone global, then user dot email. You can give your email. All right, so now earlier when we run this command, git space config space iPhone iPhone list, it is not uh, written with um, any output, but now when I'm running, it is showing user.name is equal to avatar space t and user email is this. So, so this is a mandatory configuration for this. Now, let's see where the configuration or this information is going to store. So basically we are going to have user level configurations and project level configurations. We will discuss that in detail, but whatever the uh, things we configured here. So basically it is going to configure uh, it is going to store in Home directory. So just get CD space tilt the one you can find below the escape So click on enter my present working directory is under slash root So there if you get ls again, it is showing nothing but gave ls iphone a So there you observe we got a file called dot git config so if you open this file, so when I'm using cat command dot git config and there you can see. So for example, you do any reasons if you gave any typos while configuring. So then you can come to this page and you can modify these settings. All right. So these are the first steps you need to perform uh, 
uh, after installing uh, uh, our uh, Git. So the same thing we need to perform in our Windows also. But as I mentioned, however, I'm going to use Linux operating system throughout this course. I am going to use that. So here is the commands. So git config uh, space uh, hyphen hyphen global user dot name and user dot email and to verify there is a command it space config uh, space hyphen hyphen list so it shows all the it shows all the settings configured settings and uh, when coming to configuration so when you give uh, under tilt that that means a home directory of root user so then when you give that it will take you there and there you have a file called dot uh, git config so if you have dot that is nothing but a hidden directory in next operating system so just give ls space iphone a okay so this is an installation process so in our uh, next video we are going to discuss uh, terminologies thanks for watching this video guys